Hello, good day everyone. And today, I will share to you some of my five takeaways that I've learned from the, from the discussion in Ed 103. First is the topic, Philosophical Thoughts on Education. The philosopher that I could never forget is Herbert Spencer. He introduced the utilitarian education. This means what is good for everyone. Herbert Spencer concept is all about survival of the fittest, that we should adapt to our society in order for us to survive. This kind of society we have right now has developed through times. The society we have right now is our decision because we think that this is best for all of us. And also, Herbert Spencer said that people should not focus in one thing, that we should somehow explore other things too. Second uh, is from the topic, Historical Foundation of Education. The Education of Primitive Society. So the Primitive Society, uh, this is all about uh, survival of the fetus. This society focused on hunting and gathering foods in order for them to survive. Because there is no school in this period, their teacher is the adult. Uh, the, uh, the adult thought, thought the uh, young ones on how to use the tools, on how to uh, make the tools, and also adhere the moral behavior code of the group, and also language, in order for them to communicate. And they, uh, the adult taught the girls on how to do their churches. Church, churches. Third is from the social science theory and implication. The theory that I want to share to you is the structural functional theory. From the term itself, uh, structure and functional. There are some structure in the society that, uh, that have a unique function. This is the theory of Herbert Spencer. That there are social institutions in the society such as family, which is the basic unit of society, education or school, politics, economy, and religion. Those are the social institutions that are uh, interac uh, interacted to each other. And if one of them failed to do their rules, then other institutions would be affected. The next one is the strength and weaknesses of the Filipino character or the character. The fourth is one is uh, one one of the strength of the Filipino character is the joy in humor. This become this become our strength because even in the hardest situation, Filipino are able to be happy. Even our mistake, we laugh at it because uh, and we. Uh, we find it humor. The fifth one uh, is the weakness of the Filipino character, the lack of discipline. So we Filipino have the attitude called manana, manana habit, that uh, we put that we put off until tomorrow what can be done today. Most of the Filipino, most of the Filipino have this kind of attitude. In this kind of attitude, we have lack of discipline to ourselves. That will be all. Thank you for listening, everyone.